Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to do a little overview of uh, one of the products that I've been using this year. Uh, just recently got this about the middle of the year or so, getting ready for deer season. And just wanted something that I could use out in the field to steady up my positioning uh, with a rifle or muzzleloader or shotgun, whatever it may be. Whether it be in a blind or just, you know, spot and stocking. This thing will pretty much do everything you need it to do. So uh, what we're going to be talking about, obviously, is the uh, trigger stick from Primos. This is a Jim Shockey edition, Gen 3. This thing's really a, a, a unique and a pretty special piece of equipment. And you'll notice here it's a tripod. So you've got the three legs. They also have the, the bipod and, uh, and the monopod, I believe. So I'm not real on target with all that they have in their lineup, but... Uh, this is the one that I wanted. It's really been a blessing out in the field. So throughout this video, I'm gonna kind of show you some uh, different uh, footage. So when you get your trigger stick, it's gonna come with the tripod itself, and then you'll have two attachments. Now there's different versions of, of packages that they put together with this thing, but the normal package that you would get with this trigger stick would be uh, two attachments. Now you've got your, your V here, for your rifles to rest on. So basically it's just like your old fashioned uh, sticks, you know, just gonna have that slot to set your gun in. Uh, the other attachment that they'll have with it is a, a uh, attachment for say your, you know, if you're spotting and stocking, you wanna put your bino holder on here or a uh, spotting scope, whatever you may have that you need to get uh, put on here. You can use this, you know, for glassing, uh, shooting, obviously, and it uh, really works well um, with those two. And really, all you, it's pretty simple. There's just a, a little switch here on the side that you'll, you'll bring down, push the button in. It clears your, uh, I don't know if you can see that. So you can just set that in there. It's got a little button here on the side. You put that in there, you can lock it down and you're good to go. So it makes it very easy in the field to switch these out. If you wanna to go to, to shooting, put that in there, lock it in, and you're good to go right here. So this thing's really adjustable. Uh, that's the nice thing about this stick. You don't have to undo legs and just like your regular tripod legs, you know, where you have to take each one down or loosen it, push a trigger and it adjusts right there for you to whatever height, whatever angle. Say you've got a downhill, you can do that. You know, go and go this way, you need to go forward, whatever your, your situation calls for. This thing adjusts right on the fly. I mean, I can stand up to uh, shooting height here. Let me grab my rifle and kind of run through these with you. Everything's cleared. Nothing in the, nothing in there. Okay. All right. So here I can go to standing. I can bring it down. I can sit down, have this thing right here in a sitting position. Just really nice. If I'm in a sitting position, I need to stand up. It's right there, boom. I'm standing, ready to go. So really nice with even what you get here with this, with this uh, attachment that comes with it. Uh, it just makes for a simple setup. Here on the bottom, you're gonna have a little strap to kind of keep everything together. Your legs from flopping around. You just flip that over. And it's just got little, little notches here. So it keeps everything solid and from clacking around on you out in the field when you're walking in. 
It is a little bulky. It's not bad though. I mean, if you're carrying just this without camera gear and things, it's really gonna be not bad at all. The other thing I really like about this stick is, is the handle. Uh, as you can see here, it's kind of shaped like a, like a pistol grip. So it makes it very easy to turn if you're glassing or whatever you might be doing. Uh, it's on a swivel here. So everything swivels right here. So yeah, really nice fluid, fluid motion with that. Um, you know, if I'm sitting here and I need to pan over or turn it, I mean, this thing will, will lean however you need it to go. I mean, if you're on uneven ground and stuff, you can just see how versatile this thing is. I mean, it's just, it's right there without any question every time. So I'm really, I'm really enjoying this, this uh, trigger stick from Primos. Now Primos has been around forever, as most of us know. Uh, I grew up on Primos. That's really, you know, watching their videos and, and things like that. And back when they first got started, uh, kind of tells you how old I am, but uh, they've been around for a long time. Yeah, those are the two attachments that you'll get with this right out of the box. You can also pick up some accessory things for this. You can pick up more of these. It's nice to have these, you know, sitting around like two or three of them. Put them on your uh, spotting scope, on your um, binocular holders, whatever you want to do so it's quick access and all you do is just clip it in and, and go. Leave those on your on your spotting scope or whatever it is, uh, your camera mount, whatever you may you may need. Uh, you can put this right on your camera and use it with this stick. So very versatile, very nice to have all these attachments. One of the other ones that I wanted to show you was their uh, gun rest. Now this thing is a game changer right here, especially out in the field, spot and stock. Uh, it is a little bit bulky, but you can break it down if you're not in a rushed shooting situation where you got to have it right now. Uh, so this will break down and has a lot of adjustments to it. What you'll do is just push this down and you can fold these in. Now, depending on how far in you have, uh, here's the locking one. So this locks and then you can adjust this in and out. I don't use these very often, so they're a little bit stiff still. Uh, but you can put that anywhere you want. And say you want to move it in, lock this down, push down on this, and you can fold these, uh, these mounts down so it's more compact. Let me do the same thing with this one here. We'll move that in, lock it down, and then uh, let me move that back a little bit so it folds down. There we go. Okay, same thing with this one. I'm gonna move that back so it goes all the way down. And there you go. You got your gun mount right here in, in a pretty small blueprint. But this thing's really nice. Um, comes up, locks out, adjust it basically wherever you need it for your gun. Same thing, it's gonna mount the same way. Open up that lever on the side, it's kinda like a safety lever. And right there you have a gun mount. So I can set this gun. Now, depending on where you like your gun sitting, uh, some guys like their trigger behind, some guys want it in front. Uh, it's just up to you. Either way is, is gonna be fine. You also have to worry about where your clip is and things like that, but uh, for me, this is pretty comfortable right here. But it just gives you that added stability that uh, you don't have with your V support. So there again, I can adjust this to whatever height I need it, whatever angle I may need. This is all the way down. But you're not going to be able to, to, you know, kick it off to the side like you would your other one quite as easy. It has a lot of, of nice features as far as adjustability. So I can tilt this gun at whatever angle if I'm shooting downhill, uphill. It'll do it all. There you can see I've got that sitting down, you know, at a pretty pretty severe angle. If I'm doing a downhill shot, if I'm doing an uphill shot, obviously I can bring this up. Okay, and I'm right here shooting uphill, sit in a sitting position. 
So there is a ton of adjustability with this. With this added support on the top, it just makes this, this thing so much more functional. So I can really be solid right here. You can reach out, grab that front end without putting hands on the gun. And I am pretty solid right there. All right, so we've gone through all the benefits of this trigger stick in a uh, seated position, standing position, but what if you are sitting on the ground? Will you be able to use this stick? The answer to that is absolutely. Um, this thing is so adjustable that you can even sit in the, on the ground with this thing. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you. Right here on the bottom of the base, you have a, what I would call kind of like a switch that rotates. Just a rotating lock, okay? Once you rotate that, that allows these legs to kick out to the side. Now, we can bump this baby clear down, and there again, I can adjust this out and get that wherever I want it. So right here, in the sitting position. Now the only limit to this is you can only go so far, really. I mean, it's it does have its its limitations on the bottom, but at five seven five eight, I can get this right down to a solid sitting position on a straight frontal shot. Now, if I had a downhill or something like that, I would probably have to adjust myself, but it's still an easy task. So if I need to be on one knee, I can bring this up and I can adjust this down for that one knee shot downhill a little bit. I can bring it up here and I can come up to, to straight across. If I have a downward shot or an uphill shot, I can adjust once again sitting down. Now these legs will move a little bit because there's nothing holding the backside on the leg itself so it it will kick out on you if you're on on a you know a pretty slick surface but um, if you're in grass or dirt or anything like that it's gonna hold itself it's got some pretty aggressive uh, uh, feet on this tripod I have really never had a problem with this thing kicking out on me or moving uh, mid mid shot or anything like that so but there again you can see I can bring that right here in front of me, sitting down. Now this position, you're not going to go from standing to sitting in a, in a blink of an eye. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit to get this down and adjusted, but once you stand up, all this goes back in, locks in, and it's ready to go. The only other thing that I could see that you could actually do to this thing would give it spring legs to where once you, uh, like if you pushed a button, the legs automatically kicked out for you. Uh, that would be kind of nice. But hey, this thing pretty much does everything for you the way it is. But yeah, you just gotta take a couple seconds here to get this sec this thing set up. But it's that quick. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty easy. And like I said, with this with this uh, adjustment here, uh, you can you can kick those legs out. This does take a little bit of finessing to get those legs past that past that point. But you get the idea, uh, very versatile. And uh, I'm really happy with this, with this setup. Now these are plastic, these are, this is all aluminum. Um, so I've had this out in pretty cold weather and I've never had it break or, or anything on me. That would be one of my concerns with this, with this particular piece is the, uh, the supports here breaking on me in the cold. But like I said, I've used this quite a bit. Uh, you can adjust this up and down. So there's really no reason to be concerned unless you catch, you know, say this bottom piece on something and snap it off, or you've got this up too high and uh, it gets caught on something or, and snaps. So you just need to find that comfortable level to where your gun is supported and you're comfortable, uh, you can raise this one up, put this one down, depending on how you, you like your, your gun to sit. Uh, so obviously the back one would be down, the, the front one, that would give you some 
more support up front for your hand to grab. And that's a really comfortable position right there for me, is to be able to grab that front post. And to keep steady out in the out in the field and you're just not real happy with your V notched uh, supports, you know, just your traditional V notch, then you might want to look into uh, the gun support uh, that also can be uh, purchased for this uh, trigger stick from Primos. All right, guys, well, that wraps it up. Uh, if you got any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. I love getting comments on all my videos. Uh, if there's anything that you're concerned with or have questions on, on any of the pieces here, go ahead and shoot me a message and I will get back to you uh, for sure. But uh, anyway, that's what I got for you. Hopefully this helps you out in the field this next coming year. By the way, Merry Belated Christmas and hope everyone has a great new year. I'm excited for this new year coming up. We got uh, some things that I want to try to get accomplished this year. This last year was a little bit tough. Uh, we had a lot of lot of things going on that didn't really allow me to get out as much as I wanted to this year. But, hey, it happens. So, hopefully this year we'll be able to get out and do a lot more videos, a lot more uh, going over products and stuff that I'm using and do some other trips and things like that. But I'm not going to bore you with all that. You'll see that coming up in the next year. So, hopefully everybody is subscribed. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, give these videos a like, uh, comment, whatever you got to do. I just appreciate everybody's support and uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just one of them sing blue collar workers that just uh, work hard during the week and, and like to try to get out during the, the weekend and have fun. But uh, anyway, thanks for all the support. Going into 2023, pretty excited for it. So Thanks again for every, everybody's support, and we will see you in 2023. Stay safe out there in your hunts and everything you do in the outdoors. We'll catch you on the next video.